okay hello everyone in this video and the coming videos i will try to go through chapter 10 i will start off with um, with the first slide since we have it has been a while um, since we last met so i will go over um, everything then i will move to the to remind you about um, the events at the neuromuscular junction then we will continue from there so this is the first video it will be very brief very quick just to remind you about what we covered so far so uh, here it's uh, I believe you are fine with all of these the types of uh, muscle tissues the sculptor muscle smooth muscle and cardiac muscle the differences between them how we'll differentiate them uh, also I think you are fine with the functions of uh, skeletal muscles what do they do uh, quick reminder about the skeletal muscle organization we said we have uh, the overall uh, okay we have the overall uh, skeletal muscle that is wrapped within the connective tissue called epimysium the skeletal muscle itself is made out of vesicles these muscle vesicles each one of them is wrapped within the perimysium and each muscle vesicle is made out of muscle cells or muscle fibers and each muscle fiber is covered within uh, something called the uh, endomysium. So this is the overall structure of the skeletal muscles. Large muscle made out of vesicles, uh, like maybe 10, 20 vesicles. Then uh, each vesicle is made out of several muscle cells, muscle fibers. Okay. And each muscle fiber, as you know, is made out of myofibrils. Next. On these myofibrils, we said we have the sarcolemma, which is the plasma membrane. We have the nuclei, if you remember, the uh, muscle fiber are multinucleated. Inside, we have the mitochondria, we have the sarcoplasmic, uh, we have the sarco. Uh, uh, sarcoplasm which is like the cytoplasm then we said the main organelle we have is the myofibril and for the myofibril we said this these are arrangements of two types of filaments the thin filaments or the actin which are here in green and the thick filaments or the myosin which are here in like dark purple we said the z-disc is what anchors these actin filaments Whereas the H zone and the M line, it what anchors the thick filament. We said the area between two Z discs is called the sarcomere, and this is the smallest or the tiniest contractile unit in the muscle fiber. Now, we said the I band is the brighter band or the light band, because here we have only the thin filament, and the I band is the area around the Z disc which is made of or consists of only thin filaments whereas the A band or the dark band is when you have the overlapping of both the thin and thick filaments additionally we said the myofibril is surrounded by the sarcoplasmic reticulum and the sarcoplasmic reticulum its main function is to store and release calcium and in addition to that we have from the sarcolemma we have these extensions which are the t tubule or the transverse tubule we said these are going to transmit the signal from the sarcolemma deep down uh, to the muscle uh, to the myofibril or deep down inside the muscle fiber the t tubule and the areas of the sarcoplasmic reticulum surrounding it which is called the terminal cistrine. The three of them are called the triad. Now, on the thin and thick filament, we said we have the actin, which is made of these proteins, beads, and each one of these actin subunits, it has a binding site for myosin, and for the thick filament, we said these are the myosin molecules. They are forming a tail. And at the end of each strand, there is a head. 
and if you remember we said these heads are going to fit within these binding site and that what caused the contraction so when the contraction is happening this is basically the the structure of the uh, sarcomere that the I band and the dark band or the A band this is how it appears under the electronic microscope uh, but back to the contraction we said when the contraction is happening the sarcomere or the Z lines the Z discs are coming toward each other and therefore we see shrinkage or we see less of or a thinner I band whereas the thick band or the A band remains the same so when the muscle is relaxed we see full extension of the sarcomere when the muscle is contracted when the muscle is contracted we see more compressed sarcomere so we have less of I band however the A band or the dark band will remain the same and we said the stagiation we are seeing under microscope are because of these bands so the thick this darker line would represent the A band and the lighter area around it would represent the I bands now the mechanism the main mechanism for uh, muscle contraction we call that the excitation contraction coupling and if you remember we said for the skeletal muscles in order to contract they need to be excited they need to be stimulated from nervous system so they have to receive a signal or an order for them to contract and therefore this mechanism is called excitation contraction coupling because with every excitation there is a contraction so both are coupled and we said for the excitation basically we are going to disturb the membrane potential and for contraction we are going to release calcium ions from the sarcoblasmic reticulum these are the main steps of excitation which I am going to go over again uh, in the following video but also just to remind you about the neuromuscular junction we said this is the area where the nervous system meet the muscular system we said each muscle fiber should receive a stimulation in order to contract okay these stimulations they are coming from a neuron and that neuron we are going to call it a motor neuron a motor neuron so a motor neuron is a, neur a neuron that signals contraction of a skeletal muscle fiber or that single contractions to a skeletal muscle fiber i should correct this it's two uh, skeletal muscle fiber and one motor uh, neuron may contact several muscle fibers and this motor neuron and the muscle fibers associated with it we are calling them the motor unit and now we are going to see the events at the neuromuscular junction so i will stop here and start a new video uh, for the events at the neuromuscular junction.